Cowboys.
It is my honor and privilege as the Chief Faculty Marshal to proclaim the opening of the 2017 Butler University Commencement Exercises. First, I would like to thank Professor Michael Colburn and the Butler Wind Ensemble. Thank you for providing our lovely prelude and processional music. At this time, I am pleased to introduce Mr. Keith Burks, Chairman of the Butler University Board of Trustees. Thank you, Dr. Noderer. It is a pleasure to welcome you to the Butler University commencement. I extend special congratulations to each of the members of the class of 2017 for reaching this important milestone in your lives. Soon you will join the illustrious ranks of approximately 44,000 Butler alumni who live in every state in our union and more than 79 countries throughout the, the world. Their careers and achievements attest to the quality of their Butler experience. I now call on the members of the Butler Chorale, directed by Dr. Eric Stark and Mr. Doug Johnson, and the Butler Wind Ensemble, conducted by Professor Michael Colburn, to lead us in singing the National Anthem. Please stand and remain standing for the National Anthem. At the conclusion of the National Anthem, please take your seat, and Ms. Kaylin Pellegrini, Secretary of the Senior Class, will provide the welcome. Please be seated. It's hard to believe that our time at Butler is coming to a close. We've come a long way since those very first prerequisite and intro classes, and to say we've experienced a lot together in the past few years would definitely be an understatement. We worked in jobs all over campus, joined sororities and fraternities, became student leaders, participated in intramural and club sports, interned all over the country, led Division I athletic teams to victory, aced job interviews, and we even learned how to cook our own meals and pay bills along the way. The journey to get here today wasn't always easy, but it was always worth it. And if I've learned anything from my time here at Butler, it's that we were never on that journey alone. 
graduates. Take a moment and look at the 8,500 people in this auditorium here today. Our professors, advisors, mentors, and coaches pushed us to achieve greatness and showed us the value of hard work and determination. Our families selflessly supported us in the pursuit of our loftiest goals. Our friends were the ones who stayed up late with us, finishing the papers we had procrastinated, and were the people we leaned on each and every time that we thought the world was ending. Our sorority sisters, fraternity brothers, classmates, peers, and others reminded us to never settle and helped us seek ways to challenge ourselves daily. And our Butler administrators worked tireless tirelessly to make this place our home away from home. To these people and the countless others who shaped our Butler experience, thank you. You are the people who truly showed us what it means to live the Butler way. Now, as we get ready to enter the real world, it is my hope that we will all continue to embrace the Butler way wherever we go. The Butler way demands commitment, denies selfishness, accepts reality, yet seeks improvement every day while putting the team above self. Class of 2017, as you enjoy the rest of this commencement ceremony, remember the incredible time you spent here as a Bulldog and the friends and the memories that you made along the way. This is our day, so enjoy it, and as always, go dogs. Mr. Kevin Reinsmith, president of the senior class, will now offer his thoughts on commencement. Good morning. Today, I am graduating as a student of the Lacey School of Business. With that being said, the businessman in me appreciates that there is nothing more valuable than time, especially when you have 8,500 people anxiously waiting for you to finish so they can go to their reservations at St. Elmo's or Benihana's after this. So I'll keep this brief. College is a time of stories. Everyone who's attended college seems to have at least one good story that they're able to share for the rest of their life. In fact, many college graduates that I talk to seem to have stories that may focus less on their time in the classroom, but they can remember every detail of stories and experiences like completing a rotation at a hospital in downtown Indy, or waiting until the last week before commencement to complete their final BCR. Yes, I know some of you sitting on the court today did this. So why is it that we naturally remember these stories? Since the earliest humans, we have shared stories to educate, share history, and especially to entertain. Very little has changed in that regard as we still communicate most effectively with others through the art of storytelling. Now college offers us the crucial and rare ingredients for a riveting story. It has captivating characters, an environment filled with intrigue, and of course, a happy ending. Now, there may have been some pretty large potholes and some student loans on the road to today, but by being present in Hinkle Fieldhouse this morning, I think we can all agree that this chapter of your Butler story has reached a very happy ending. Now, I encourage each of my classmates to look back on your time here and identify those memories that you're going to be sharing many years from now. As I look back on my own, a short list quickly forms. Only a few feet from where I'm standing today, is where I stood when our men's basketball team beat the undefeated number one team in the country, Villanova, and we very enthusiastically rushed the court. I remember the day I overslept for class and missed 30 minutes of an exam, and I truly believe that the world had ended that day. And of course, I'll remember all the construction that we've endured during our time here to make way for developments like the parking garage and the second new residence hall that'll soon be joining our campus. However, Schwitzer Hall, you will be missed. And just like many others, there might be some other stories that I'll withhold since I'm not holding my diploma yet and I was explicitly told to avoid any unceremonious topics this morning. Now, the ceremony is intended to celebrate the <laughs> the ceremony is intended to celebrate the academic success that we each have ac has accomplished, which is impressive and should not go unrecognized. However, I want each of you to take time to celebrate the life experience and growth as well that we've gained during our time here. And I hope that when you think of Butler in the years to come, you think of more than just a paper diploma, but you think of those stories that we've made during our time on this 295-acre campus. Today may mark the end of your college story, 
but this has only been a small chapter of your personal Butler novel. Butler will always be home, and I hope that we can all return to this place, whether it's for homecoming, basketball games, a drink at Scotty's Doghouse, or to bring our children on a campus tour and pray that they choose to attend our alma mater when they start visiting colleges. To my classmates, I'm grateful for the opportunity to have served as your class president, but above all, thank you for sharing this chapter of your story with me. And I wish each of you nothing but the best as you continue on to life's next chapter and make many more stories in the future. I look forward to hearing them. Thank you for your time and congratulations to the Butler University class of 2017. Our talented Butler Chorale will perform Things That Never Die with music by Lee Dengler and text by Nixon Waterman, which has been drawn from the work of Charles Dickens. The words are on page six of your program. Please welcome to the podium Dr. Eric Stark and the Butler University Chorale. At this time, Mr. Clayton Smith, treasurer of the class of 2017, will introduce our faculty speaker. I am honored to introduce Diane Timmerman. She has been a theater professor at Butler University for 24 years. Professor Timmerman received her Master of Fine Arts degree in acting from Indiana University and her BA in theater in German from Southern Illinois University. Diane is a designated link later voice teacher, one of about 250 worldwide, and enjoys teaching a variety of voice, acting, and theater courses at Butler. 
She is also the proud recipient of the 2014 Butler University Distinguished Faculty Award in Teaching, as well as a two-time recipient of the Creative Renewal Fellowship from the Arts Council of Indianapolis. Diane serves as Producing Artistic Director of the Indianapolis Shakespeare Company, which stages professional Shakespeare productions in downtown Indy's White River State Park each summer. Professor Timmerman is an accomplished professional stage actress who has appeared in several commercials and films, including The Package with Gene Hackman. Please help me welcome our faculty speaker, Diane Timmerman. Thank you, Clay, for that kind introduction. Thank you to President and Mrs. Danko, Provost Morris, and the Board of Trustees. Welcome to all the friends and family of the class of 2017 who are here with us and watching us online. Class of 2017, graduates and undergraduates from all six colleges, thank you for honoring me with the role of faculty speaker. I know many of you from the core curriculum, events across campus, my home college of JCA, in my uh, beloved theater majors, and from when I taught on hi, and from when I taught on the Butler Gala program in Rome. <laughs> Go Gala. You may also know me as the mom of one of your fellow graduates, Karis Webb, to whom I give a special shout out. I imagine many of you have weathered some storms over these past years. My daughter has as well. And I salute her resilience, courage, and poise during this last year when we lost her father, my husband. Arriving on this graduation day is a real feat for her and a true achievement for each and every one of you I know as well. And I congratulate you, everyone and all. I do realize that there are many of you that I haven't met in person, but you're in luck. I teach theater, and theater is about life, so I'm hopeful that something of what I will say will be of some service to you. Also, I'm in showbiz, and I've attended over 20 commencements, so I know that the hallmark of a terrific speech is its brevity. Brevity is the soul of wit, said my favorite writer, William Shakespeare. Turn my page. Uh, one of the courses that I really enjoy teaching the most are my Voice for the Actor courses. And these courses focus on the speaking voice. And most of my students come to that first class wondering what we're going to do for a whole semester since they've been talking since they were two. Uh, I teach a, a, a methodology based on Kristen Linklater's Freeing the Natural Voice Technique. And my favorite quote from the book is, I want to hear you, not your voice. So the goal of the work is not to create an artificially modulated voice or to put on an erudite mid-Atlantic dialect to sound smart. We work on a lot of technical things like avoiding vocal fry or excessive nasality or denasality or many more things. Actually, I wish we had the time to do a quick voice lesson right now. I love teaching large groups, and this would be an achievement for me. <laughs> but since we don't, let me just tell you that the foundation of a free voice is free breath. Breathing is one of the best things you can do for your voice and yourself. It's amazing how often we hold our breath or breathe shallowly. A big sigh of relief works wonders for your voice and your well-being. Let's all try that now, shall we? <sighs> try it. Good. The deepest goal of the voice work is to reveal the speaker's true voice, a voice that transparently reveals the individual's thoughts and feelings so that their meaning is manifest in their sound, is their sound. And voice work ties into acting work. The most common mistake actors make is when they think that the role is over there somewhere, outside of them. And the truth is, the greatest acting comes from within the individual. 
We do a lot of research as actors, historical and textual analysis, probably similar to the kind of preparatory work you do in your own fields. Whether you're planning a business plan or a lesson plan, a prescription, a media plan, a legal brief, or about any other career project you could name, learning from outside sources will continue your whole life, that's a given. But what I want to stress to you today is a lesson from the actor's world. Trust your own voice. Everyone else has also done the research and prep work, but no one has your voice. People of the class of 2017, your voice is like your fingerprints. Each one of you is unique. The world is waiting to hear from you. Three quick corollaries to freeing your voice. Nothing is ever convenient, say yes, and everyone is scared. Nothing is ever convenient. Please do not wait until conditions are perfect to take up a challenge. You will wait your whole life. Say yes to as many things as you can in your life. It will make your life more fun, more joyful, more rich, more beautiful if you say yes as often as you can. Third, everyone is scared. I am scared to death right now. <laughs> but I have to say, this is one of the most thrilling moments of my life. Every single positive personal or professional thing I have ever done in my life, I have actually not wanted to do that thing either before and or during that thing. But I have always been gratified afterwards. Accept fear. It will be there. But don't let it stop you. My final thought is the best illustration of saying yes when scared in movie history was a film shot right in this room. In the movie Hoosiers, when Gene Hackman who absolutely is as wonderful in person as he seems on screen. Graduates, please ask your parents and grandparents who Gene Hackman is. <laughs> when Gene Hackman gets off the bus with the small town Indiana basketball boys and they walk into Hinkle Field House, the players are completely intimidated by this vast, hallowed space. You really sense that the team might fold under the pressure, and certainly none of them are breathing. Gene Hackman, though, gets out a tape measure. And he has the players measure off the free throw line distance and the basketball rim height to prove to them that the Hinkle court is exactly the same size as their court back home in the small Indiana town. I am inspired and feel like I can do anything when I watch that scene. The tape measure does not function as a magic wand. The players still face huge challenges. But the tape measure is Gene Hackman's way of proving to the players that they do have the inner resources to play well. My wish for you, beautiful class of 2017, is that you find a helpful tape measure whenever you need it that you say yes often in your life, that you breathe deeply, that your voice is free and full and strong and vibrant. And one final selfish wish, on behalf of the faculty, please keep in touch with us. We really love hearing from you. And we also still use email and Facebook. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2017. You rock! And now, the 21st president of Butler University, James Danko. Good afternoon and congratulations to our Butler graduates. Today, we celebrate a tremendous milestone in your lives. 
We are very proud of your academic and personal achievements, and we are grateful for the unique and positive impact that each of you has had on Butler University. We are also grateful, as I know you are, to your parents, family members, and friends. Their support and encouragement have helped you reach this milestone. Let's take a moment to thank them with a round of applause for the love, support, and sacrifice that has led to this wonderful occasion. While today's ceremony is indeed a happy one, we are sad to see you leave. And I know that many of you, likewise, are sad to be leaving. Throughout your academic journey, you have exemplified the Butler way. It is my hope that as you embrace the next chapter of your lives, you will continue to let the Butler way inspire you. I encourage you to remember those people who have given you a helping hand and pulled you forward. Don't forget to give those behind you the same helping hand. Continue to serve your families, your friends, and your communities as you have done here at Butler. I wish you every success as you begin your new journey as alumni. We will miss you and your special contributions to this campus, and we hope you will come back to visit, visit us often. At this time, it is my privilege to confer honorary degrees upon Sarah and John Lechleiter. As an aside, I want to say to this graduating class, you have witnessed some truly historic moments on the floor of Hinkle Fieldhouse. You saw Tripp make his official debut as a mascot. You were here as Butler became a member of the Big East Conference. You watched Butler host and defeat a number one team for the first time in over 60 years. Today, I ask that you help us create one more historic moment in Hinko before you leave, and that is, for the first time in our history, to applaud visitors who came to us from Xavier University. <laughs> Let's please, to start, give Sarah and John Lechleiter a warm welcome. As we celebrate your achievements today as new Butler graduates, I encourage all of you to remain engaged in community service throughout your lives. I can think of no better inspiration than the accomplishments of this extraordinary husband and wife team. Sarah and John have been deeply engaged for many years in civic activities that have strengthened this Indianapolis community. Sarah currently serves on the boards of the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra and the Indiana Repertory Theater. She is a founding member and served as chair for the United Way of Central Indiana's Women United, as well as Women of Tocqueville. Sarah is a sustaining member of the Children's Museum Guild, the St. Augustine Guild of the Little Sisters of the Poor, and the Proctor Club. Sarah graduated with a degree in sociology and social welfare from Edgecliffe College, which is now part of Xavier University. Sarah Lechleiter, will you just please stand? Today we will confer upon Sarah an honorary doctor of humane letters. John Lechleiter has served as chairman of the board of directors of Eli Lilly and Company from 2009 until his retirement at the end of this month. John spent 37 years with Lilly. He joined the company in 1979 as a senior organic chemist in process research and development. In 2005, he was named Lilly's president and chief operating officer and joined the board of directors. He became CEO in 2008. John earned a bachelor's degree in chemistry from Xavier University in 1975 and master's and doctoral degrees in organic chemistry from Harvard University. John is a member of the American Chemical Society. He is chairman of the board of United Way Worldwide, and he serves on the boards of Nike and Ford Motor Company. Today, we confer upon John Lechleiter, an honorary doctor of science.
Let's start with Sarah. Do Sarah first. All right. On the approval of the Butler University Board of Trustees and by the authority vested in me, I confer upon you, Sarah Lechleiter, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto. On the approval of the Butler University Board of Trustees, and by the authority vested in me, I confer upon you, Dr. John C. Lechleiter, the degree of Doctor of Science, honoris causa, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto. I invite the audience to join me in expressing our congratulations and best wishes to our newest honorary degree recipients. Wow, what do you do after that? Well, thank you, President Danko ever so much, and good morning, everyone. What a pleasure it is for Sarah and me to have been invited to share in this special day, celebrating and recognizing the unique achievements of all who are assembled here to receive your Butler diplomas. We, in turn, are greatly humbled and honored to be the recipients of honorary degrees from this great institution. We likewise extend our thanks and congratulations to many others here today, faculty, parents, grandparents, siblings, friends, and family alike, who have played indispensable roles in supporting and encouraging our soon-to-be graduates. And I'm pleased to see that with all the construction on campus, we weren't required to wear hard hats Butler is certainly on the move, and I know we're all very proud of that. Graduates, the word for this event, you will notice, is commencement, not completion. Today is actually the start of something, the rest of your life, that certainly merits commentary and reflection, keeping, as Professor Timmerman said, keeping brevity top of mind. When I think of brevity, I'm reminded of a story told by Marty Feldstein, the Harvard economist who served on Lilly's board until the time of his retirement in 2012. In the waning days of the old Soviet Union, a meeting was held in Moscow between John Major, the British Prime Minister, and Mikhail Gorbachev. Major knowing full well the sorry condition of the Soviet state at that point, asked his counterpart, Mr. Secretary, in a word, how would you describe the present state of the Soviet economy? Gorbachev thought for a minute, then replied, good. Major continued, how then would you describe it in two words? Gorbachev shot back, not good. With that in mind, let me offer three bits of advice that I hope you might consider good. The first is to set your sights high, always, whatever it is you decide to do. Avoid the temptation to sell yourself short. That little voice of doubt will often try to do you in. John F. Kennedy famously said, once you say you're going to settle for second, that's what happens to you in life. Draw encouragement from others. Mark Twain once declared, keep away from people who try to belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that. 
but the really great make you feel that you too can become great. In our own lives, Sarah and I have been fortunate to find encouragement from so many. I recall the adjunct professor of chemistry at my own undergraduate institution who encouraged me to pursue advanced studies at Harvard because he said it had the best program and I would excel there. Harvard, are you kidding me? This kid from a modest background in Louisville, Kentucky? Believe me, I was plenty intimidated when classes began in the fall of 1975. But you know what? Within a few weeks, I found myself saying, I can do this. As you set your sights high and your ambitions higher still, you'll find you can get a lot more accomplished if you're able to work effectively with and through others. This is most often a matter of treating people the way you yourself would want to be treated. It also requires that you take the time to understand others and their backgrounds and motivations. As Atticus Finch opined in To Kill a Mockingbird, you never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view, until you climb into his skin and walk around in it. Being kind to others generally results in kindness being returned. When you take time to help others with their own pursuits, they will more likely than not want to help you. Sadly, these simple maxims often get lost in the workplace and in our daily lives. On too many occasions, people fail in their jobs, not because they're lazy or incompetent, but because they can't get along with their coworkers. I've seen this time and again. So as many of you here today commence your postgraduate lives, be the sort of person whom others would be proud to introduce as an associate, a coworker, a collaborator, or a partner. Try always to give others the benefit of the doubt. Reach out, avoid gossip, and dissociate yourself from those who trade in it. Revel in the success of others, and don't forget the role others have played when celebrating your own accomplishments and achievements. The last point I would make is simply this. Muster the courage to think and act independently. Today, with celebrity worship much in vogue, and in the face of incessant pronouncements fueled by social media, there's more pressure than ever to go with the crowd, to join in the chorus. Yet you've just spent important years of your life here at this institution to learn how to think. Take advantage of this fact. And yes, oftentimes courage and tenacity are required. At the start of my tenure as CEO of Lilly, Lilly faced the dawning prospect of losing roughly 40% of its revenue over a two to three year period due to expiring patents on four of our largest drugs. Trust me, we got a lot of advice from many different quarters, with some saying we should merge, sell the company, split it up, slash R&D, you name it. We did none of the above. Instead, we increased our investment in R&D to generate a flow of new medicines that have since returned Lilly to growth. It wasn't a popular approach in some quarters and met with a fair degree of skepticism for years, but it was the right thing for Lilly, for us to do, and we have since been vindicated. My own reward came from the comments of an elderly gentleman I met by chance 18 months or so ago at a local social gathering. Having been introduced to me as Lily's CEO, he looked me up and down and said sternly, well, you certainly surprised many of us. <laughs> Thinking and acting independently requires that you develop a reasonable sense of skepticism about what is often passed off for truth. And I'm not talking just about fake news. Read widely and gather facts and information. Develop your own informed opinion and point of view. Be skeptical, but not cynical. I recall the numerous occasions when I have read subsequent reports of events that I participated in 
or had first-hand knowledge about. Sometimes the stories are spot on, but in other cases, they bear scant resemblance to what actually happened. A Lilly Human Resources head once cautioned me, don't believe anything you hear and only half of what you see. And I think that's about right. In more human terms, one of my predecessors as CEO at Lilly, Randy Tobias, used to say, there are always two sides to every story. It's important that you remember this. So that's it. Set your sights high and strive for excellence. Treat others the way you would want to be treated. Think and act independently. Your Butler education has prepared you well for what lies ahead. Today, you commence your roles as lifelong learners. Could there be a more exciting time as you enter the next stage of your life? I very much doubt it. Even as we face compelling challenges in nearly every realm, at the local, national, and global level, in areas as diverse as medicine, the environment, hunger and human suffering, war and peace, we have at our disposal new knowledge and astounding new tools and the omnipresent gifts of human ingenuity and human compassion. Whatever career or vocation any of you choose to pursue, use wisely your newly conferred status as graduates of this great university and please continue to show your gratitude to Butler by a willingness to give back so that others who follow in your footsteps might benefit. Congratulations again, graduates, and thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Lechleiter. At this time, I'd like to recognize Dr. Catherine Morris, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Thank you, President Danko. In the graduating class of 2017, we have 811 undergraduate students and 144 graduate students. Of these graduate students, about 60% of you already have an undergraduate degree from Butler. Whether you are receiving your first or second degree from Butler today, congratulations on your academic work. Graduates, your development as students is a direct consequence of the meaningful interactions that you have had with faculty members both inside and outside the classroom. I ask that you take a moment to reflect on the transformative influence our faculty have had on your lives. Faculty, will you please rise so that we may honor your role and our students' educational success. Graduates, the diplomas you are about to receive signify your academic accomplishments. Under the tutelage of this outstanding faculty, grounded in the liberal arts and complemented with training in the discipline or profession of your choice. In addition to the academic successes of our graduates, I would like to commend you for having performed over 100,000 hours of community service during your time at Butler. Through this work, you have made a positive impact in the communities in which you have served. We all know you will continue to make the world a better place. Graduates, the faculty, staff, and administration are proud of you. Indeed, commencement is one of our proudest days on campus. As you begin a new phase in your life, please know that we trust you will be excellent ambassadors for your alma mater. And we look forward to hearing from you about the ways that you have put your Butler education to work in your lives. 
We will now present the undergraduate and graduate degrees. Will all members of the graduating class please stand? <laughs> Mr. President, the candidates standing before you have completed all of the requirements for their respective degrees and they have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees, and I now present them for a conferral of their degrees. On the recommendation of the faculty, the provost, with the approval of the Board of Trustees, and by the authority vested in me, I confer upon you the degrees recommended with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. In keeping with academic tradition, those of you who are receiving bachelor degrees may now move your tassels, symbolizing your degrees, from the right side of your, your cap to the left side. Congratulations. You may be seated. Hello, my name is Dr. Jay Howard, and as Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, I now present the candidates for the Master of Fine Arts, Master of Arts, Bachelor of Arts, and Bachelor of Science for the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Additionally, several graduates and players on our Butler baseball and softball teams will receive their degrees prior to the LAS graduates. Each team has a home game this afternoon, and we wanted to offer these student athletes the opportunity to receive their degrees before they play. So we wish them well in their games today and say, Go Dogs! Professor Scott Bridge will read the names of the candidates. College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, Bachelor of Arts, Brandis Sully. The College of Education, Bachelor of Science, Riley Carter. The College of Communication, Bachelor of Arts, Chelsea Norwood. The Lacey School of Business, Bachelor of Science, Daniel Bush. Jeffrey Shank. Casey Starwalt. Good luck today. Go dogs. The College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, Master of Fine Arts, Austin Bowling, Michelle Cooley, Rebecca Hulse. Joanna Mader, M. Karen Salisbury, Master of Arts, Jeremy Van Soest, Bachelor of Arts, Taryn Ahmed, cum laude. Ara Uloa Akinbo, Andrew Alvarez, cum laude,
Michael Andrews. James Arthur, cum laude. Tabitha Barbour, cum laude. Timothy Barnes, Jr. Catherine Bataferano. Bailey Bettis. Lauren Biolsi. Kayla Bivens. Haley Boer. Paul Bridges. Connor Brown. Olivia Brown. Emily Brumley. Daniel Bertner. Allison Butler, cum laude. Alicia Cavallero Espajo. Caitlin Carter. Emily Chamberlain, cum laude. Jessica Chaparro. Avery Sharon, cum laude. Kenneth Avery Cheatham. Caitlin Clancy. Patrick Clark. Sarah Coffing, cum laude. Clark Kaiser Collier. Madeline Comer. Savannah Correll, cum laude. Claire Cunningham. Wojtek Chiz. Olivia Dean. Elizabeth Demuth. Cum laude. Nicholas Denny. Christian Derusha. Grace Dillo, cum laude. Lara Damasic. Kelly Dominic. Ryan Donahue. Hannah Downs. Kindle Duff. Brennan Duke, cum laude. Grayson Dunn, cum laude. Kathleen Appen. Connie Frank, cum laude. Sarah Fuquay. Aaron Furnish. Haley Gearhart, cum
cum laude. Sarah Giesel. Elaine Gilio, summa cum laude. Morgan Glowinky. Brian Gunn. Alexander Haddon, cum laude. Doug Hall. Brooke Hammonds. Lindsay Hansen. Diamond Hatcher. Kirsten Hawkins. Samantha Haycox, cum laude. Ariana Hayes, magna cum laude. Marissa Heiling. Taylor Helgeson. Lauren Hessler. Diana Hillicord. Trevor Hook. Sean Horan, cum laude. Sydney Hurst. Ellie Imai. Elizabeth James. Will Jonah. Callan Jones, cum laude. Caroline Jones. Justina Kaiser, cum laude. Shanna Kelly. Katie Kincaid, summa cum laude. Katie Cokert, cum laude. Katherine Koshnik. Emma Casilla. Stephanie Kuhlman, summa cum laude. Alexander Kais. Kyle Lang, cum laude. Abigail Law. Gina Lempke, cum laude. Daniel Lipsy, cum laude. Annika London. Spencer Lowe. Leah Lovely. Alexia Magos, cum laude. Julia Mansfield. Andres Menez, cum laude. Brooke McGarry. Christina McNeely. Taylor Meek, cum laude. Meredith Missler. 
Lakin Mitchell. Murrin Morinweiser, cum laude. Lucas Morgan, cum laude. Libby Moyer, summa cum laude. Natalie Nusenau. Noel Ortega. Vic Overdorf. Ryan Pardick. Alon Potashnik. Taylor Pearson, magna cum laude. Bridget Peden. Gavin Paler. Nicholas Pemberton. Joel Pettis III, cum laude. Dina Phillips. Lily Pickett, cum laude. Rachel Pierce. Olivia Pratt, cum laude. Gabriel Preskill. David Roche. Madeline Razor, cum laude. Courtney Reach. Shannon Reed, cum laude. Duncan Ricci, cum laude. Lauren Railing. Andrew Ross, cum laude. Ellie Rowley. Maggie Rubel. Hadil Saeed. Gunabushan Sathya Murthy. Keithan Savage. Sierra Sailor, cum laude. Jesse Schmidt. Mark Schubert. Amelia Shepherd. Allison Simcoe, summa cum laude. A. R. Smith. <laughs> Madeline Smith. Trevor Spellman. Samantha Stang. Mallory Stressler. Margaret Talley, cum laude. Perry Termalin. Elizabeth Terrell, cum laude. Sam Thomas, cum laude. Laura Tunner. 
Matthew Tosino. Ashley Turner. Autumn Tyler. Emily Vasconcells. Danielle Wallace, cum laude. Karis Webb. Eliza Webb. Demisha Wells. Nicole Wenstrup. Caroline Wong. Allison White. Christopher Wilkes, cum laude. Luke Williams. Taylor Wilson. Joseph Workinger. Peyton Wright. Catherine Yaki. Chelsea Yednak, cum laude. Caroline Zuhon. The degree Bachelor of Science. Jesse Allen. Jacob Applegarth, summa cum laude. Sarah Baguette. Caitlin Balmer. Matthew Beebe. Stephen Bennett, cum laude. Courtney Buckholtz, cum laude. Claire Butkus. Lauren Campanoli, magna cum laude. Sydney Kasky. Greg Sarabona. Haley Kaufman. Kyle Colston. Kurt Corsby, magna cum laude. Nicholas Costello, cum laude. Allison Cotter, cum laude. Olivia Crow, summa cum laude. John Cupid V. Morgan Dahl. Lauren David. Lauren DeShaw. Mariah Drabus. Austin Engel, cum laude. Taylor Estes. Emma Etchison. Alexandria Flora, magna cum laude. Normando Gonzalez, Jr., cum laude. Megan Greigel. Mario Guzman. Kelsey Haas. 
Whitney Hart, summa cum laude. Amanda Hashimoto. Kylie Haviland. Claire Hazelton. Christopher Hill, cum laude. Jordan Hostetler, cum laude. Tyler Hudgens, cum laude. Brandon Hunt. Christopher Leon Jones. Avery Kirschbaum. Ashley Klein, cum laude. Jessica Klingensmith, cum laude. Jordan Knotts. Cutter Kaler, cum laude. Andrew Kelper. Lisa Crawl. Victoria Craden, summa cum laude. Ryan Krieger. Caitlin Lee. Tanaka Mapandera. Abraham Margo. Kathleen Mavrolis. Lindsay McDonald. Megan Menapace. Jerrica Mill, cum laude. Shelby Miller, summa cum laude. Chandler Mitchell, summa cum laude. Maggie Mollering. Olivia Murfield. Deepa Namburi. Michael Pecos, summa cum laude. Raj Patel. Alexandra Payton. Megan Perry. Taylor Piper. Daniel Schemenauer, cum laude. Tyler Skank, cum laude. Madeline Schmitz. Taylor Smith, cum laude. Jerry Smith, cum laude. Alex Sotel, cum laude. Brittany Stankovich. Shannon Suttles. Clayton Taylor, summa cum laude. Warren Travis, cum laude. Benjamin Trube. Gabriel Vineyard, magna cum laude. Brent Weibel. Rico Watson. Jason Wiebe. Sierra Williams. K. 
Karen Wolf. Robert Ray. Connor Young. Good morning. I'm Dr. Ina Shelley, Dean of the College of Education. On behalf of the members of the college, it is my honor to introduce the candidates for Master's of Science in Education and Bachelor of Science in Education. Professor Ann Bellado will read the names of the candidates. The College of Education, earning the Master of Science, Amy Anderson. Amy Boltink. Brian Catt, Emily Kernow, Raven Dirth, John Dimmick, Amanda Fitting, Tess Handy. Samantha Path. Camille Ritchie. Christina Ripley. Deanna Schmidt. Elizabeth Schick. Andrew Smithers, Abigail Soltis, Michelle Trainer, April Walcott, earning the Bachelor of Science. Rachel Abel, cum laude. Emily Amen, cum laude. Teresa Bauer, cum laude. Bailey Beckham, cum laude. Aliyah Beeks. Emily Bertram, Megan Blakey, cum laude, Kaya Bowl, cum laude, Sarah Clary, cum laude, Sophie Darley. Sarah Desatel Cum Laude, Anna Deloso Cum Laude, Joanna Grace Downs Cum Laude, Samantha Driggers, Lindsay Douglas. Amanda Dusing, Max Floria, Lindsay Gemmel, cum laude, Alexa Giannatosio, David Goldsmith, magna cum laude. Samantha Good. 
Kaylee Halpern, cum laude. Abby Hines, cum laude. Ellie Jarrett. Johanna Johnson, cum laude. Ashley Jones, magna cum laude. Sarah Case. Mary Keller. Gwendolyn Kozak, cum laude. Tiffany Kula, cum laude. Devante Lane. Matthew Makoviak. Stephanie Maris, cum laude. Vincent Marshall. Megan Martin, cum laude. Taylor Matheson, cum laude. Ethan Maurer. Rachel McCrum, cum laude. Rochelle Menzi, cum laude. Addison Moeller. Alexa Morris. Allison Overmeyer, cum laude. Margaret Owens, cum laude. Elizabeth Pagoria. Kathleen Pullins, cum laude. Caroline Rico, cum laude. Kayla Rowlett. Catherine Sexton. Kimbra Shainer, cum laude. Megan Soderland, cum laude. Taylor Stogsdall, cum laude. Kendall Tiley, cum laude. Abby Udelhofen, cum laude. Jessica Valentine. Rachel Valentine, cum laude. Nicole Vetter, cum laude. Nicole Voller, cum laude. Catherine Welch. Lauren Wilson, cum laude. Candace Winfrey. Bailey Wiseman, cum laude. Hello, I am Michelle Jarvis, Dean of the Jordan College of the Arts. I'm honored to present Thank you. I'm honored to present the candidates for Master of Music, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Music, Bachelor of Musical Arts, and Bachelor of Science within JCA. Degree, Master of Music. Grayson Beudry. Benjamin Holbrook. Douglas Johnson. 
Tiffany McKinney. Jason Priest. Jeremiah Marcel Sanders. Anthony Vega. Seth Warland. Degree Bachelor of Arts. Nicole Bailey. Brooke Benoit, cum laude. Victoria Batansis, cum laude. Alexander Borello, summa cum laude. Jade Cavillo. Margaret Citron. Emily Elwell, Emily Fair, summa cum laude, Nicholas Garrick, Sonia Goldberg, summa cum laude, Deontay Graffanino. Kaylin Greer, Julian Oram, Jesse Philbrick, Amanda Marie Rodriguez, Alexandria Michelle Sanders. Laura Scobell, Sarah Tam, summa cum laude, L. Dean Williams II, Kendall Wynn, cum laude, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Daryl Barnes, cum laude. Ariana Bennis. Annalise Bryan. Kathleen Dargy. Jessica Dick, cum laude. Liam Fitzpatrick. Emily Floody, magna cum laude. Brooke Mello. Niklas Nelson. Sierra Ortega, cum laude. Rosa Pragan, cum laude. Camber Sasser. Delaney Waldron. Jesse Williams. Bachelor of Music, Christian Beecham. Chloe Bolter, Kieran Bowman, Timothy Carlos, Whitney Cleveland, cum laude, Alyssa Zartoski, Addison Funderburg, cum laude. John Hinkle, cum laude. Tony Hubert. 
Patrick Lord Remert. George Pryor. Andrea Tulipana, cum laude. Travis Wayman, cum laude. Dawson Emily Yu, cum laude. Bachelor of Musical Arts, Samantha Bolinsky. Christopher Cranston. Isabella Ferrari. Nathaniel Manthe. Degree Bachelor of Science. Julianne Blunt, cum laude. Michael Boyd. Mackenzie Byrne. Stavrula Kulunidis. Elena Doskovich. Nina Edmonds Edwards. Rebecca Gratch. Matthew Griffin. Hope Hagen, cum laude. Riley Hill Cartel, cum laude. Lisa Jing, cum laude. Rebecca Lucas. Hayden Mythaller, cum laude. Abigail Moritz. Gabrielle Randall, cum laude. And Eliza Whiteneck, cum laude. Good morning. On behalf of the College of Communication, my name is Dr. Gary Edgerton, Dean of the College, and it is my pleasure to introduce the candidates who have completed requirements for the Bachelor of Arts in Communication. Earning the Bachelor of Arts, Sarah Adler, cum laude. Emily Alberts, cum laude. Allison Allman, cum laude. Casey Artizone. Austin Banj. Addie Barrett. Brianna Bean, cum laude. Corey Bender. Sydney Berninger, Abby Bean, Addison Boardman, cum laude, Elena Bolin, Maggie Brow, cum laude, Michael Brown. Olivia Carroll, Megan Carter, Kayla Collins, Marissa Cozine, cum laude, Marin Craig. Danielle Deratoni, cum laude. Rita Davidson. 
Alicia Damasio. Madeline Dominguez. Colin Driscoll. Amanda Eagle. Kaylee Eaton, cum laude. Emma Edict, summa cum laude. Hannah Farley. Tessa Falcons. Paige Faris. Danielle Frobel. Max Gabovich. Jordan Galligan. Melanie Gaston. Natalie German. Catherine Goins. Katie Goodrich. Audrey Gosnell. Anya Guloff, cum laude. Claire Griffith, cum laude. Paige Hafer. Samantha Hamilton, cum laude. Alexander Hancock, cum laude. Joseph Hassenstab. Audrey Heiner. Russell Hunter. Grace Hyde. Catherine Kelleher, cum laude. Lauren Kirshner. Brody Keim. Brendan King. Madeline Koenig, cum laude. Ryan Comis. Madeline Koss. Kevin Labotka. Anne Lamberton. Kevin LeBlanc. Zaba Lenning. Paige Liston, cum laude. Adam Loki. Caitlin Luby. Carly Mangus. Brianne Manell. Miranda Maritato. Claire Mushbaugh, cum laude. McCarty Maxwell. Elizabeth McGlone, cum laude. Dominic Merlina. Nolan Mikowski. Morgan Miller. Mackenzie Muko. Lexa Muehlbauer, cum laude. Aaron O'Neill, cum laude. Caroline Patterson. Larson Pax, 
cum laude. John Preston. Meredith Rashid. Anna Rao, cum laude. Molly Ray, cum laude. Julia Reyes. Lindsay Rich, cum laude. Mitchell Riportella. Katherine Robinson, cum laude. Haley Ross, cum laude. Elizabeth Russo, cum laude. Brian Sable. Fushao Saper. Nicholas Scalise. Javier Alejandro Perez Serra. Adam Sher, cum laude. Emily Sickert, cum laude. Zach Siegfried. Aaron Smith. Natalie Smith. Lauren Sogard. Amy Street, cum laude. Kelsey Tallman. Nora Thompson. Marco Tomic. Matthew Van Tryon. Evan Vinci. Henry Baird Walter. Logan Ward. Paige Watson. Ann Weber, cum laude. Seth Wells. Madeline Westerhoff, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Whitaker, cum laude. Emma Young. Emily Zaluski. Cum laude. Brittany Zoet. I am Dr. Stephen Staniford, Dean of the Andre B. Lacey School of Business. And I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the Masters of Business Administration, Masters of Professional Accounting, Bachelors of Science, and Bachelors of Science in Economics for my school. Degree, Master of Business Administration, Garrett Adams. Patrick Burke. Wade Geiswhite. Zachary Houston. Blake Jones. Ryan Junkins. Adam Lake. 
Marisha Lavender. Ryan McBride. Emily O'Neill. Matthew Polston. Ryan Rust. Hugh Smith. Joshua Thompson. Sandra Toledo. Laura Lee Weaver. David Wilcoxon. Joshua Wilson. Blaine Zimmerman. Master of Professional Accounting. Noha Al Mahmoud. Joseph Oshocker. Sarah Briscoe. Thomas Brown. Michael Campbell. Patrick Clark. Alyssa Conley. Michael Davis. Gretchen Graber. Caitlin Hike. Caitlin Kiley. Thomas LeClaire. Brendan Loftus. Hannah Olinger. Bertram Riches. Evan Rieger. Jay Scheidler. Kayla Weinzimmer. Degree Bachelor of Science. Alec Alden. Timothy Allersmeyer, cum laude. Jessica Allen, cum laude. Ken Amadio. Emily Anand, cum laude. Joseph Arcuri. Carly Azar, cum laude. Hannah Bagoli. Patrick Baker. Jacob Balder. Isaac Bales. Ashley Bannon. Casey Barba. Emery Barnes. Thomas Barrett, cum laude. Andrew Bedford. Anthony Berry Bennett. Devin Bellamy. 
Miles Beresford, Brooks Berridan, Brianna Burr, Bridget Blossom, cum laude, Bradley Bocchetti, Anna Boykin, cum laude, Caroline Bonini, Michael Burkowski, John Boudreau, Chelsea Boyce, cum laude, Jacob Brockman, Andrew Brandel, Braden Brengel, Sydney Brockman, August Bittner, Aaron Bundy, Ali Burke, Brooks Carey, Mitch Carnes, Mitchell Casperson, Mary Sarajewski, cum laude, Adam Chappelle, Andrew Shrabbis, Kathleen Sohota, Meredith Comerford, cum laude, Charles Constantino, Grace Cooper, Julie Koval, cum laude, Sarah Crawford, Liam Creamer, Justin Kroll, Evan Coltiz, Jared Curcio, Kevin Kernow, Abigail Cutler, Cole Dalton, Tyler Dector, Ian Dicer, Abigail DeSono, Dominique Dixon, Nathaniel Dixon, Abigail Dolan, Daniel Donati, David Doner, Alexis Dreyer, Scott Dunwell, Alan Eidelman, cum laude, Justin Ellingson, cum laude, Max Fagenbaum, Ian Furlman, Reagan Fine, 
Abram Fleming. Robert Flott. Zach Fawcett. John Frame. Holly France, cum laude. Morgan Gast. Rachel Gates. Rachel Gadoff. Erica Gauger, cum laude. Taryn Gay. Taylor Gillenwater, cum laude. Andrew Giordis. Rebecca Gearing, cum laude. Shania Grant, cum laude. Emily Guglielmo. Liam Hansen. Tori Hardick, cum laude. Brian Harlan. Jane Heinrich. Michael Hoeing, cum laude. Daniel Horkavi. Jacob Hoyer. Tyler Hudson. Hunter Hughes, cum laude. Adele Hunter Shields. Elizabeth Jansen. Haley Jensen. Brett Johnson. Kristen Johnson. Mock Young Nickel. Justin Kaplan. Matthew Kennett. Mikhail Kamia Dashvili. Savannah Kleiner. Skyler Cobrin. Kara Kohler. Jocelyn Kester. Sasha Kohler, cum laude. Kyle Cordobine. Adam Cost. Carly Krebs, cum laude. Anna Kroger. Claire Crone. Courtney Kronzer. Anna Krukover. Ivy Kurgan. Kelly Kuzmitz. Emily Louth, cum laude. Kirby Lawson. Benjamin Lafeer. Samuel Lanin. Ryan Leslie. Tyler Lewis.
Margaret Lees. Jordan Leitner. Eder Lopez. Carson Ludwig, cum laude. Mike Madden. Eric Monell. Michael Manis. Jacqueline Markey. Hannah Marquart. Lindsay Mason. Kelly McCafferty. Magdalena McClelland. Emily McCutcheon. Molly McDonnell. Keelan McNally, Thomas McShane, Joseph Mewborn, Nicole Moore, Christopher Marano, Mark Ryan Myers. Michaela Neal, Peter Newman Jr., Corey Norton, Kevin O'Brien, Josie Ocker, cum laude. Ryan Okasik, Sean O'Reilly, Ashley Orr, Megan Osborne, Adam Polini, cum laude. Braden Pampu, Jessica Parada, cum laude, Jordan Patterson, Matthew Pozak, cum laude, Holly Pearson. Kaylin Pellegrini, Drake Pendleton, John Perticaris, Abigail Peters, Nicholas Peters, Reagan Pollard, Matthew Powers, Matthew Qualters, Yusuf Qureshi, Alexi Randall, Matthew Rash, Ryan Reed, Megan Reminar, Kevin Reinsmith, Sean Robertson, Michael Robinson. 
Michael Sakuchi. Mina Samalia. Lucas Shibley. Allison Shanest. Sam Schrader. Aaron Scott. Sarah Seabolt. Austin Seavers. Grace Seibert. Jackson Shear. Ian Sheridan. Spencer Shoemaker. Daniel Seavers. Cody Smalley. Jason Smith. Tyrone Smoot Jr. Kalei Sorensen, magna cum laude. Caitlin Spencer. Jacob Spielberg. David Starkey. Gregory Stevens. Megan Stevens, cum laude. Brian Strawn, cum laude. Alyssa Sito. Michael Thomas. Brian Todd, cum laude. Jonathan Topalian. Emily Umland. Alexios Vanis. Nicole Walker, cum laude. Nick Waltz, cum laude. Colleen Weatherford. Nick Weaver. Bradley Weber. Spencer Wensloff. Melissa West. Anna Whitaker. Patrick White. Andrea Worthwine. Drew Witt. Alex Waldmo, cum laude. Lauren Wood, summa cum laude. Sydney Yesness. Mary Erin York. Jordan Zickert. Charles Zirkel. Bachelor of Science in Economics. William Benning. Jonathan Frankovich. Alyssa Gunderson. Maggie Jensen, cum laude. Alexander Krohn. 
Jesse Solis. Rebecca Weston. It is my pleasure to present the final college, the College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. I am Robert Soltis, Dean of the College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. Today I present the candidates of Ma Master of Physician Assistant Studies, Doctor of Pharmacy, and Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences. The candidates for master's and doctoral degrees receive their respective hoods in a special ceremony on Friday. Earning the Master of Physician Assistant Studies, Morgan Aubert. Benjamin Bach. Corey Bomer. Kevin Bogenschutz, Stephanie Bonenfond, Ashley Booth, Kristen Brady, Samantha Bilesma, Serena Karras. Callan Cochran, Melanie Coder, Cheyenne Collop, Shelby Copeland, Cassandra Craigie, Molly Cremens. Caitlin Crohan, Mallory Cross, Abigail Davis, Andrew Donofrio, Amanda Eckhart. Daniel Fisher, Patricia Flynn, Leslie Frank, Abigail Gallet, Stefania Galowska. Michael Giacopelli, Regina Giannaris, Rachel Guerin, Nicole Hamilton, Samuel Harmon, Alexandra Heffron, Amy Hemmelgarn, Brianna Hankey, Cameron Hernandez, Alexandra Hoffman. Nicolette Julson, Chase Patrick Kern, Kelsey Kelly, Jordan Kierkegaard, Jetta Casilius. Jennifer Cook, 
Catherine Cruz. Janelle Lance. Megan Leach. Elizabeth Lequai. Ryan Lilly. Kristen Lohe. Allison McAllister. Lauren McCracken. Chloe Meese. Adam Metzler. Anna Mihelich. Carissa Miller. Lindsay Mueller. Stephanie Murdoch. Becca Murphy. Ariel Knoll. Elizabeth Peck. Ellen Robinson. Allison Schultes. James Vollmer. Allie Watson. Danielle Webb. Emily Williams. Julia Williams. Caroline Wise. Allison Wolter. Jeffrey Wright. Emily Yarman. And now, earning the Doctor of Pharmacy, Sonia Aguili Marisi. Christina Anselet. Trey Anderson. Andrea Baker. Cameron Baker. Ryan Barton. Tyler Barton. Nicole Beck. Christy Bertram, summa cum laude. Anna Mae Beswick. Caroline Betts. Shelby Beitel, cum laude. Allison Biken. Katherine Binger. Eric Black. Megan Blaze, cum laude. Morgan Bolton House. Alexander Karens. Zoe Castellano. Eric Chen. Jordan Clark. 
Ellen Klaus. Jasmine Cody. Nicole Coglanis. Kevin Corsell. Julia Courtney. Daniel Cutter. Kelly Davidson. Timothy Ryan Davis. Paige Detzler. Margaret Dorenzo. Elizabeth Diller, cum laude. Ryan Dimmitt, cum laude. Brandon Elpers. Bethany Fitzhands, cum laude. Martina Fraga, cum laude. Ryan Freyer. Zachary Geyer. James Goff. <laughs> Nathan Hance. Taylor Harlow, cum laude. Andrew Hart. Jessica Hynowski. Alexandria Hisong. Nicole Hudak. Zachary Houston. Nicole Jackson. Alyssa Jenkins. Ryan Junkins. Joseph Kalis. Lauren Carmeyer, Mallory Kashak, Jeremy Kaufman, Casey Kurt, cum laude, Emily Keith. Christine Kleeman, Kevin Canary, cum laude, Kelsey Curry, Tyler Lasky, Marisha Lavender. Mitchell Lees, Katie Lefevers, Sarah Levinson, Sarah Lowry, Kelsey Lucas. Kelly Mahoney, Alexandra Maurer, Carly Messinger, Stephen Muleman, Matthew Mayle. Sarah Moore.
Thomas Muma. Allison Owen. Andrew Pak, cum laude. Lauren Palmer. Michael Park. Jenna Park. Jordan Pierce, magna cum laude. Paulina Fan. Macy Plummer. Krista Palicchio. Matt Polston, cum laude. Jacob Reedy. Sienna Ryder. Adam Rominger. Ryan Rust. Abby Salvatore. Kyle Saunders. Courtney Schindler. Ryan Schneck. Kylie Shelley, Catherine Skoog, Lindsay Sopetti, cum laude, Nicole Staggy, cum laude, Danielle Stone, cum laude. Andrew Tashler, Danielle Thomas, cum laude, Heather Thomas, Carly Thompson, Allison Trossen. Liana Zanatakos, Brittany Urbanic, Swathi Vadri, Art Valdos, Storm Van Wy. Morgan Weinsberg, Bridget Veldman, Delina Vo, Ashley Walter, Jacqueline Wozenchuk, Brittany Wells. Aaron Wensloff, Elizabeth Willis, and now presenting the Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences, Jennifer Applequist, cum laude, Megan Becker, Noelle Bell, Kelly Coderre, Adriana Deneau, Gabrielle Dunn, Beth Fisher, Hannah Hartnett, Paul Henderson, 
Samantha Haran. Bailey Howell. Samantha Jensen, cum laude. William Alexander Johnson. Michelle Martin. Megan McCangbridge, cum laude. Aaron Moody, cum laude. Sarah Peet. Lydia Rankin. Danielle Rupel, cum laude. Amelia Samuelson, cum laude. Melanie Schrantz. Katie Tren. Allison Wareheim. Molly Wilkinson. Caitlin Willard. Emily Winkleman. And from the Liberal Arts and Sciences College, earning her Bachelor of Arts, Jennifer Poorman. The alma mater of a university is often the collegiate national anthem. Throughout the lifetime of a university, faculty, staff, students, alumni, and family join in singing the alma mater within university ceremonies as a symbol of loyalty and pride. As these graduates are now leaving Butler University, please join the chorale in singing the alma mater once more. Under the direction of Doug Johnson, a new graduate of the Masters in Music Conducting Program, the university community will sing the alma mater together. You will find the words on page eight of your program. Please stand for the singing of the alma mater.
Let us recognize the talented Butler University Chorale and their directors, Dr. Stark and Mr. Johnson, as well as the Butler University Wind Ensemble under the direction of Professor Michael Colburn for their beautiful musical performances. Mr. Ryan Krieger, Vice President of the Senior Class, will now offer his thoughts as we prepare to close the ceremony. Hello. Once again, congratulations, class of 2017. We did it. And I don't know about you, but it feels pretty great to finally be holding this piece of paper. Now, why did we pour so much time, energy, and money into our Butler University degrees? Why did we persevere until this moment? Those of you from the Lacey School of Business might rationalize it by saying, Butler is a good return on investment. JCA alumni might say that it was because they were empowered through the arts. Coffs graduates might say, so we can help heal the world and also RIP clusters. Those with education degrees might say, to keep the knowledge flowing from generation to generation. Finally, my friends in CECOM would probably teach me how to free phrase the question a bit more clearly. And my fellow LAS classmates would say that it was because each day taught us a new perspective on life. But together, we know that it's because of something else. It's because there's something special here. There's a reason why Bulldogs never want to leave Butler. Though a contract extension through 2025 never does hurt. Right, Coach Holtman? <laughs> but yes, there's definitely a reason deep within our hearts that unites us as Bulldogs and makes us want to stay this feeling you can't quite put into words. And it's because of this feeling that we might feel a small sense of sorrow today. But that's okay, and be excited for the future. For as Steve Jobs once said, you can't connect the dots looking forward, you can only connect them looking backward. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. Few of us knew what we were getting into when we stepped foot on campus. But now, reflecting upon it, we realize just how lucky we are. And not only for that paper in your lap, but more so because in your heart you were made into a bulldog. As we leave Butler for the moment and move on with the next stage in our lives, trust in your bulldog heart since bulldogs ever do or die. Congratulations again and thank you. With sincere congratulations and best wishes to the graduating class, I declare the 2017 Butler University commencement completed. Please remain seated until the platform party and the faculty have recessed. Graduates and guests will be released after the recessional.